What is going on, members of the Shy Guy Squad, and welcome to the, um, wait, no. Welcome to Le TBU and the draft analysis, uh, to look over the team that we drafted in a live draft for the, uh, TBU, uh, live stream thingy. I hate how the T in TBU means the, you don't have the in an acronym, but you know, whatever the fuck floats there about, uh, I guess. But, um,. We're gonna go over the team we drafted here, and prior to the uh, live stream draft, we drafted Megas to kind of know what we wanted our team around, as well as um, like to try to shorten down the time of the draft, despite it lasting for like four hours, regardless. But um, yeah, so um, for our Mega pick, we drafted Mega Audino. Yes. I have drafted Mega Audino. Do not slaughter me. I did this because whatever. Like there were lots of good Megas left. Like I could have gone with Mega. I could have gone with Megalopony to be honest. But uh, Mega Audino. Mega Audino is quite the interesting mod at that because it gets stuff like um, it get it it its abilities kind of shit. Let's face it, healer does absolutely nothing. But it does get some interesting moves. It's a wish passer. It gets uh, like it, ha it gets decent offensive moves. I'm gonna slide up like Pokemon DB or something because that's where I get all my information from. I, I prefer using Pokemon DB. If you use something else, more power to you, I suppose. But um, so Audino, uh, Audino gets some interesting moves. Um, we can figure out some funny shenanigans probably with Misty Terrain. You get Psy Shock, Calm Mind, uh, Ice Beam. Solar Beam, Rain Dance, Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Psychic, Grass Knot, Dazzling Gleam, of course, because it turns into a Fairy type. It can learn Drain Punch if we really want to be that guy with our base 60 uh, physical attack. Signal Beam, uh, Uproar, <laughs> Icy Wind, Knock Off. This is a surprise knock offer. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a. kind of an interesting mod. Uh, I was like. You know what? I don't know, man. Let's just do it. Like, let's just take Audino. I mean, somebody had to take an underrated Mega, right? I mean, there was Mega Steel. Uh, no, not Steel. Mega Agron also went, but I think I have the most underrated Mega of them all. So, uh, moving on from Audino, our next pick was Thunderous Eye. Thunderous Incarnate. What do I say about Thunderous? Thunder is an electric type. He outspeed the base 110s. He has Prankster. He has good physical attack, good special attack, Volt Switch, Nasty Plot, Dark Pulse, Hammer Arm, um, Sludge Bomb and Wave. Uh, you we get Incinerate. Shout out to the MPL. Uh, Focus Blast. Uh, Thunder. If we want to go with that Rain Dance Audino, <laughs> uh, we get a uh, Thunder Wave, of course, to support the Prankster. Get Grass Knot, of course. Uh, U Turn. This thing gets both U Turn and uh, Volt Switch, which is really nice to stop out from like a ground type heavy team if I still want to use it. It gets Knock Off. It gets Iron Tail for the Dem Fairies. Even though, I guess, I mean, yeah, I suppose that little. I suppose that thing on him is a tail. Uh, it gets uh, Dark Pool, like I mentioned. It gets, uh, I don't know, let's see. Let's see what you get. Yo, we can run Fly. We get Toxic, of course, in power like everyone. Hyper Beam, if we really want to just say oh, it's done. We get Smackdown, uh, Psychic. Oh, just a bunch of good coverage moves. So, uh, Thunderous is here. Now, the next mod up on the team is Greninja. Now, I, I, I don't know. I'm obsessed with this frog. I I love uh, Oras uh, Torrent Ninja. I love XY Protein Ninja. This one is, of course, Oras uh, Torrent. But I still love this Pokemon so much. Like, it has an amazing speed stat of 122. It gets decent special attack at 103 and decent uh, physical attack at 95. So this thing can be used mixed. And with moves like, you know, it gets Water Shuriken, which is stab priority, which is pretty cool. And later, I have another Pokemon that gets that. I have a Toxic Spike set up, her. I, I, 
if I really want to use Greninja that way. I, ha I get Gunk Shot, get, uh, like, you know, Low Kick, Icy Wind, Hydro Cannon, if I really just final knockout, if I see that one coming, I'm like, nah. I get, uh, Smackdown. I get uh, Power Punch, Dark Pulse, Substitute, well, Substitute is everyone, U-Turn, Grass Knot, Rock Slide, Acrobatics, Scald, which is the ba one of the best moves in the game, behind Steam Eruption, because Steam Eruption is a better Scald that can miss. We get uh, Aerial Ace, Rock Tomb, uh, Return, Rain Dance, Hyper Beam, Blizzard, Ice Beam, Toxic, Surf, Waterfall, and yeah, it looks to be about what we uh, what we got. Got Shadow Sneak, got Faint Attack, got Spikes, regular Spikes, and Toxic Spikes. So we have a uh, ha we have a Hazard Stacker here too, which is uh, pretty interesting. Like I I don't know what it is, man, but just using Greninja again to me it really means a lot, and I'm just happy to have it back. So yeah, that is uh, Greninja. I'll, I, I don't know. I don't have nicknames on the screen. I can probably get those up to real quick, like for you guys. So Mega Audino, we're gonna call Larry. It's gonna be a female, and it's gonna be called Larry in honor of uh, our good friend. Um, well, our friend under the radar, Kelly. Uh, I was asking for nicknames out on the Twitters, and uh, Mega Audino. Is going to be called Larry. Thunderous is going to be called Jin, D J I N N, which is a thunder god of some sort, I'm assuming. I'm not really sure about it, but it was a Twitter suggested name. Uh, Greninja will be called uh, Jiraiya, uh, assuming Ninja from anime. I'm, I'm, I took names from Twitter, but our next mon is a mon we're quite familiar with on this channel. It was uh, here to land some hits in the Poke Bowl, and it is uh, Ambor. We got him. The Mega Fire Pig Pokemon is ours. It hits hard, it gets scald for reasons, and it just smacks things really, really fucking hard with Reckless and 123 attack. So, let's have a little look at Ambor, shall we? Well, we're pretty experienced with Ambor, as you guys know from the major Pokemon League. And, um, Embor gets Hammer Embor gets Flame Charge. Gets, uh, it's, in its own signature move, Heat Crash, which is basically like Heavy Slam for Fire types. Uh, it gets, uh, Flamethrower. It gets Head Smash. It gets Flare Blitz. It gets, uh, Bulk Up if we want to be defensive. It gets Toxic, of course. It gets Roar, so we can, we have a Phaser. Not that Ember really wants to take a hit, but uh, it's a phaser nonetheless. We get Solar Beam. 100, uh, 100 special attacks, a respectable stat to run Solar Beam at. Smackdown, Earthquake, Return, Brick Break, uh, Fire Blast, Rock Tomb, Facade, Flame Charge, like I mentioned, uh, Low Sweep, <laughs> dropping the speeds. We get Heavy Slam as well. We get Curse, we get Body Slam, uh, Magnitude, Sucker Punch, Super, uh, super Power. We get that uh, amazing Endeavor. We get uh, Blast Burn, <laughs> Fire Punch, Focus Punch, Heat Wave, Iron Head, Iron Tail, Low Kick, Super Power, Thunder Punch, Scent Headbutt, as well as where were we on the list? We get Overheat, Focus Blast, Scald for reasons again that I do not know. It's made out of fire, it should not be able to spit hot water. Uh, incinerate, Will O Wisp. Giga Impact, Stone Edge, Gyro Ball, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, uh, Poison Jab, Grass Knot, uh, Rest Sleep Talk, we get Wild Charge, Secret Power, Power of Punch. It's, it's a pretty diverse mon with good offensive stats. Defensive, eh, speed, meh. We'll figure something out. Now, next up on our list of mons. This was our first snipe. I wanted to get Nidoqueen for our team and decided to go a completely different route. Launch Crow. I got Mr. Deadly Bird himself, Al Capone, and just to mention, Embor will be properly named BACON! Because it is Embor. Uh, but Haunch Crow. I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys. I probably killed some of your ears. But uh, Haunch Crow here has a uh, base 125 attack. Base 105 special attack. 
Base 100 HP, 71 speed, which is respectable. It's not bad, but it's not good. Like, it's more tilting towards the bad side. Still faster than M4, though. And 52 in each defenses, but that HP kind of makes up for it. It's kind of like, you know, Jancy has 255, but 5 in Fizz Def. Still doesn't die to one physical hit, you know? Honchko can at least take one due to the HP stat. And can smack something really hard back. Like, it's a Pursuit Trapper, gets Sucker Punch, it gets Nasty Plot, it gets Foul Play, Night Slash, Dark Pulse, it gets Brave Bird, Drill Pack, uh, I don't know, Mirror Move, if we really want to try to figure out something there. Psycho Shift, if someone tries to burn this bird, we can just slide it back on. Roost, Sky Attack, which we can try to be cheeky with. Uh, Foul Play, like I mentioned, Heat Wave, Icy Wind, uh, Superpower, Tailwind, it's Tailwind support. It also gets uh, Nightshade, uh, Torment, Taunt, uh, look at some TMs it gets here. It actually gets Calm Mind, which is pretty cool. It gets Hidden Powers, every Pokemon, it gets, um, let's see, what do we got? Got Frustration here, uh, Return, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Aerial Ace, <clears throat> Facade, Thief, Steel Wing, Incinerate, Payback, uh, Retaliate, oh, we can have a nice ass animation with that. Uh, Giga Impact, Thunder Wave, uh, Psych Up, so if someone's setting up and Honchkrow comes in, like it's like really bulky, I can just Psych Up and steal it, steal its stats. Dream Eater, if something is put to sleep. Uh, Snarl, Dark Balls, like I mentioned. Pretty interesting. Gets Air Cutter, gets Mud Slap. Ominous Wind, Twister, Pluck. <laughs> I'm just looking at some transfer moves. Ah, uh, you know, it's Honchcrow. Honchcrow being the crow, he is going to be named like every other Al Capone. Because let's face it, that's an awesome Honchcrow name. Now, next up on our list is the Bug Union Aselgor. Now, um, what do we say about Aselgor? Well, it swept Freedomion uh, 6-0 in and gave the title the bug union it has a pretty good special attack stat a phenomenal speed stat respectable attack stat for its like base stat total its hp is pre pretty good and its defenses are bad but this thing is a glass cannon it hits hard and dies now this also gets water shuriken just like greninja it also gets final gambit for when there's just like too many huge sets on my team that I really just can't handle, the Selgor comes in and boom, takes it down really low, switches into something else that can revenge kill, or it just switches in, goes for one game and it kills something. You know, like you do. It gets Acid Spray, it gets uh, Power Swap, it gets Quick Attack, and Water Shuriken, priority. We get, uh, we get Giga Drain, U Turn, Bug Buzz, um, this thing gets recovery? Huh? Fair enough. Gets the top as double edge. Uh spikes. This thing's a hazard stacker. We get bug bite, gastro acid, giga drain, a knockoff, signal beam, acid, acid armor, if we really want to try to get that the, the, the defenses up. And I can't speak today. Body slam, <laughs> guard swap, yawn, protect, toxic, veno shock. That's a good combo in moves. Um, let's see. Of course, in power. Gets uh, Frustration Return, of course. It gets Sludge Bomb. We can set up Sandstorms. We can be Darude. Uh, facade, of course. Gets uh, Focus Blast. Energy Ball. Struggle Bug. U-Turn. Sacred Vower. You know, the usual stuff. Now, uh, like I said... Excelgor is going to be respectively named the Bug Union after what it stands for. And the next Pokemon on our list is Salamence. Riggard. Because Riz is triggered. <laughs> I mean, I know I know you're going to watch this, Riz, and I'm going to sweep you in eight turns, just like it did the original time. I don't care who did it, I'm going to do it again. So we got Salamence here, and Salamence is a pseudo-legendary. He gets 135 attack. 110 uh, uh, special attack, 100 speed, 80 in each defense, and 90 in HP, 95 in HP. That's uh, 
those are some really good stats. And let's have a little look at Salamence's moves that here. We get the Elemental Fangs, at least Fire and uh, Fire and Thunder. I see. We have a Phaser in, with Dragon Tail. We get. Uh, I mean, if I really want to try flinching it, we have Headbutt. We get Crunch, Dragon Claw, Zen Headbutt, Flamethrower, uh, Dragon Dance, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Rush, uh, Hydro Pump, uh, Aqua Tail, Draco Meteor, Heat Wave, Hyper Voice, Iron Tail, Outrage, Tailwind, Zen Headbutt, Iron Defense. Uh, let's see, is there anything? Body Slam, Ominous Wind. Roll out, I suppose. And I mean, this is also a defogger. It does get defog from prior generations. So it's a uh, transfer move. We get home claws. We get, uh, like I mentioned, dragon claw. We get uh, toxic roar. It's phaser and roar as well. We get uh, earthquake, roost, brick break, flamethrower and fire blast, rock tomb, aerial ace, steel wing. Uh, Shadow Claw, Ghost uh, moves, Stone Edge, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, as well as, uh, you know, Secret Power, Get Sleep Talk, Substitute, you know, like, mo like most do. Now, I'm thinking Salamence is going to be an interesting mod to use this season, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, yeah, that is a Salamence for you. Now, next up on our team in the draft I went for <coughs> excuse me next up I went for uh, but hit him on top Beyblade the hit on top because let's face it it spins around and is a Beyblade <laughs> so there we go it has a uh, 95 defense and 110 for death G good defenses lack of HP kind of scares me 95 attack which is pretty good it gets intimidated as well and 70 speed, which isn't bad. And yet, this thing gets Intimidate and Technician, which are two pretty good abilities that we can abuse. You know, Mock Punch, Fake Out, Bullet Punch, stuff like that can be used with Technician very well. And then we have Intimidate for when something is, well, terrifying. Uh, now, him on top learns stuff like Close Combat, Revenge, can be worked with Technician. Rolling Kick, let's work with Technician. Uh, it's a Rabbit Spinner, which is like the main thing that I decided to go for when I went for it. We have Pursuit. We have uh, Counter, Agility, Gyro Ball, Quick Guard and Wide Guard, not that they're going to be used a lot because it's basically Protect and Protect in doubles. Endeavor, Endeavor, okay, Endeavor Quick Attack, Endeavor Bullet Punch. Endure, uh, High Jump Kick, Mock Punch, Mind Reader, Pursuit, Rapid Spin, Vacuum Wave, we even get special, we even get that special uh, priority. We get a uh, Helping Hand Low Kick, Low Kick, that's the move we can use, Fake Out, <laughs> we can use Tackle. I think, I feel like I'm going to have a meme week when I, like, if I either know I'm doing too, like, if I'm pretty solid where I'm sitting in like position or if I'm just doing too bad to the point where I know I'm not like gonna make anything I might just go a meme week with like tackle hit him on top we'll see uh, we get drill run we get a uh, mega kick we get a uh, rollout seismic toss sucker punch another sucker punch here we also get stuff like bulk up and toxic which is pretty good on him on top we get uh, we get earthquake we get a uh, brick break Aerial Ace. I don't know what the obsession with Aerial Ace is, but we get it. Uh, we get Thief, Low Sweep, Retaliate. Excuse me. Oh, I woke up a bit ago. I'm sorry that I'm yawning a bit. This is very unprofessional of me, I know. We have Stone Edge, Gyro Ball, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, uh, you know, Substitute, and Sick Talk. I'm not gonna go into that more. But that is Hitmon on top. That is Beyblade, the Hitmon on top. And next up on our list is Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock is a rock setter. Like it sets up its stealth rocks. That that is one thing Reggie Rock does, and it does it pretty well because it has really good defenses to the point where he guaranteed takes a hit almost every time. Another thing with Reggie Rock is it gets bulldoze to slow down Pokemon. It gets explosion for when it's just done and want to kill something. 
it gets rock throw, not that it's the best rock move because it probably gets something better. I'm just lo looking at its level up moves right now and then I'll move on to TMs and stuff later. It gets charge beam. Eh, why not? It gets bulldoze, it gets curse, it gets ancient power, you know. <clears throat> Once again, despite its special attack being bad, you know, it can race other stats with ancient power. It gets iron defense to boost its already amazing 200 base defense. Get Stone Edge, Hammer Arm, Lock On, and Zap Cannon. A superpower, Hyper Beam. It gets Drain Punch. It gets Fire Punch. It gets Ice Punch. It gets Thunder Punch. It gets Stealth Rock. It gets Superpower. It gets Iron Head. You know, here are the good moves. It also gets Body Slam, Dynamic Punch, uh, Counter, Mega Punch, and Mega Kick, Rock Climb, uh, Seismic Toss. Um, Let's see, anything cool, anything cool, it gets Smackdown, it gets Return, it gets Earthquake, it gets Brick Break, it gets Rock Tomb, luckily this thing doesn't get Aerial Ace, that'd be fucking hilarious. It gets Focus Blast and stuff, because why not? It gets Giga Impact, Explosion, Rock Polish, we can go fast, uh, Thunder Wave, Psych Up, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, mm, Power Up Punch, see, huh, interesting. Bridge Rock gets a lot of good moves. Interesting moves. And Sturdy is a thing now because hidden abilities have been released, so we are guaranteed to take a hit. <laughs> so that is Bridge Rock. Now, now we're going to move on to our bench picks. And our first bench pick was Gyarados, which is going to be named Lord Dragon Rage. Of course, shortened down to Lord Dragon Rage because character limits. Sucks. But despite that, we got uh, we got Gyarados here. Gyarados is not your standard bulky water, but it can do the job. With 95 HP and base 100 uh, speed up, as well as 79 defense and Intimidate to support that defense, as well as Moxie in, in case we want to go Dragon Dance and Kale Shit. So uh, I get some interesting stuff here. Uh, not the greatest special attack, but it's definitely unusable. Uh, we get some interesting stuff here. We get uh, Thrash, it's like Gyarados' most common move. We get uh, let's see, Ice Fang, Aqua Tail, Crunch, Hydro Pump, Dragon Dance. We get uh, Bounce. We get Iron Head, Iron Tail, Outrage. We get uh, if we really wanted to pull the Magic Arc, we can do Flail Splash and Tackle. Run! I guarantee you. I'm going to run Splash Mad like Splash Gyarados once just for jokes. Like predicting a switch out or something. I'm gonna let him get the free switch out just to go for Splash. I'm gonna have Avalanche. I can or I can have Avalanche, Body Slam, can have uh, double edge, headbutt, natural gift. Don't sleep on natural gift. We got uh, Roar, another phaser. We get Ice Beam, Blizzard, uh I get Frustration, Thunderbolt, Thunder, Earthquake. Return, Flamethrower, Sandstorm, Fire Blast, Facade, uh, Scald, of course, a Praise the Lord move Scald, uh, Payback, Giga Impact, Stone Edge, Thunder Wave, all that yellow magic getting spread around on my team, or from my team, Bulldoze, Dragon Tail Phasing, Dark Pulse, so yeah, that is a Gyarados, it also gets, you know, Surf, Waterfall, stuff like that, Waterfall, Strength, Stuff that's kind of cool, you know. And you know, this is in order, or this is in honor of Jordy, of the Leeds Rhyhorns, and his captain, uh, Gyarados. So you're welcome, Jordy. Next up on our team is Spiritomb. Now this would have been another Pokemon. I wanted to swap this out for something else. I wanted to swap this out for Umbreon, but uh, I was asleep when Grace Period properly started, and Trip, who drafted Quillfish, decided to be a Dick Schnozzle and drafted freaking or well replaced Quillfish with Umbreon and I was like god damn it this always happens I'm gone for something and then something starts because Americans and time zones it starts during American time and then boom something has been swapped and I'm like fuck so Spiritomb confused right probably gonna use that once because I am a dick Pursuit Trapper with Shadow Sneak I can also put a curse on someone, That's good. that could be fun. We get uh, Hypnosis and Dream Eater, if we really want to try that. We get Ominous Wind, 
Sucker Punch, Nasty Plot, Dark Pulse, Memento, we get uh, Calm Mind, Destiny Bond, Shadow Sneak, Foul Play, Icy Wind, Shockwave, Spite, Trick, Water Pulse, Wonder Room, Natural Gift, Silver Wind, we're getting all this that boosting moves, Calm Mind, Toxic, like, like most do. Psychic, Shadow Ball, Rock Tomb, Thief, um, Will O Wisp, Retaliate. A lot of my mons get Retaliate. This is an awesome animation. Psych Up, Dark Pulse, and Snarl. Well, drafted it for being a bulky Dark type. It's kind of like the second. It was like. Was Umbreon, but not Umbreon. With one weakness, being fairy, instead of being weak to fighting and bug as well. It gets Infiltrator. And pressure, so like a pressure stall. Yeah, I got that. It's the forbidden Pokemon. Consumed of 108 souls, and one of them is mine. Because I'm a soulless bastard. But that's beside the point. This thing is going to be called Shang Tsung from, uh... Uh, from, uh... What's that? from Mortal Kombat because, you know, your soul is mine. And I was like, eh, why not? That, that sounds cool. Now, viewer pick. I gave you guys the option of Empoleon, Klefki, Espeon, or Quagsire. And you guys love to meme people out. Because, get Quagsire. Quagsire, as uh, you Battle Union fans know about, um, Trip used this on his team last season. He won last season. And you guys obviously weren't done with Quagsire after he used it and won. Quagsire's stats are pretty meh. 95 HP, 85 in attack and defense, 65 in the special stats, and 35 in speed. Again, kinda eh. It's damp. Preventing explosions and stuff. Water absorb, which uh, means that people can't scald me. Unaware, which means people really can't set up because Quagsire don't give a shit. <laughs> then we have um, its move set. We get uh, get slam. We really want to do that. We get earthquake. We get yawn. We get muddy water. Just trying to look after anything. We get acid spray. Get Ancient Power, Body Slam, Counter, Curse, Guard Swap, Hmm, Recover, the Stockpile Spit Up Swallow Combo, Toxic, Ice Beam Blizzard, Earthquake, Brick Break, Sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb, Rock Tomb, can also set up Sandstorm, uh, Focus Blast, Scald, Key Impact, Stone Edge, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, Infestation, Power Up Punch, um, Earth Power, Icy, Ice Punch, Icy Wind, Iron Tail, Water Pulse, um, Double Edge, Dynamic Punch, Headbutt, Mega Kick, Mega Punch, Mud Slap, Natural Gift, Seismic Toss, Whirlpool. I can, I can, do, I can do Whirlpool, I can do I can Trap People with Infestation and Whirlpool. Quagsire is interesting, and he is going to be called Whoopsire after the YouTuber Whoopsire. Oh shit, this this has lasted for 30 minutes? Damn. Well, that has been your St. Louis Sableye's picks. I'm probably just going to get up this one because it is personally my favorite Pokemon. I'm just going to have this up. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace!